I mean, it felt good that moment when I scored because we took the lead, but obviously after the game it didn't feel so well because we couldn't finish the game and it didn't go the way we wanted, but, you know, sometimes it's how the games go. We just, you know, got to let that go. Yeah, it, uh, it, was, a, it was a rough result for us. Um, you know, we thought, you know, thought it was tough, um, you know, tough call at the end, you know, but we let them get, get into that situation. Um, you know, it's, it's something, you know, a game we wish we could have back. Um, you know, I had, I had several chances, you know, other guys had several chances too. And, you know, if we finish those chances early on in the game, then it doesn't get, it doesn't get to that point. So. Yeah, obviously um, we won a goal up, which was great. Uh, we were disappointed to concede a goal right before halftime. It's kind of one of the worst times to give away a goal, you know, right before the half or obviously right at the end of a game. So that was disappointing. Um, lost Ryan to an injury. Uh, which was, you know, obviously terrible, unfortunate. And then uh, we go down 2-1, so it was nice to, to get a goal and get us back in the game. Um, I think we were hoping to push on and, and score again, but, you know, 2-2 at that point would have been a, a decent result. And to give up a, a stoppage time penalty was, uh, you know, just a, a terrible blow and we came away with nothing. So, um, you know, we've just got to look at what, what we need to improve and, and hopefully we'll, we'll get it done now that we're back at home. Team's mentality has been pretty, really, really good. I mean, we had a good week of training and I'm pretty sure that everybody on the team is ready for this, for this game against Toronto. I mean, I know for sure that I am, so it should be an exciting with playing in front of our fans and, you know, everybody is really pumped up right now. You know, we, we love playing at home. Uh, City Stadium is an unbelievable environment. Uh, our fans have been just incredible. And, you know, we like, like playing in front of them and on a surface that we're familiar with. Um, and we haven't, lost, we haven't lost here this year. So, um, you know, we're going to take all that in and bring all the energy that, you know, the crowd brings us and, um, you know, and get back, get back to winning ways and then, you know, use this to kind of push us through the rest of the season to, you know, get, get wins on the road as well. We just have to make sure that we uh, are ready to compete. I think um, you know the, the quality of soccer is, is very good, and we, we've shown that. But we we have to make sure that we match other teams' intensity and, and then some. So um, we've got to do a little bit better job just competing in different areas of the field and winning second balls. And uh, if we can go out and do that, you know, especially playing at home with with some great attacking play, then there's no reason why we can't put on a great show for our home fans. I mean, we've had enough time to deal with his, uh, with him not being able to finish the season with us. You know, we found that we found that out on Tuesday, and that gave us a pretty good time to just, you know, get get over it and look forward to this game. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody is is really depressed about it. But I mean, we're just looking forward to like winning, and everything we're gonna do is for him because you know we know how much he wanna be on the field with us. So. It should be. It should be good. It's it's going to be it's going to be different. Uh, we're we're missing a big a big part of our team. Uh, you know, Ryan has been has been incredible in goal. He is you know he comes up with unbelievable saves and uh, you know we we really are going to miss him. There's you know there's nothing else I can say um, about that to to make that better. Um, you know he was a, he was a leader in the back and helped organize the defense and would come up with the incredible save when we needed it. So. Um, you know, it's uh, you know it's a terribly unfortunate situation, and um, you know one that we're going to have to do a whole lot of work to get um, you know to get back on get back on that page and that solidarity and have you know have a full team because he you know he really helped keep keep the whole team together. I think um, you know anybody who who steps in into his position, um, hopefully, is going to understand you know the culture here and, and what it means to. To the players and, and the fans, so um, you know we have to make sure that he can come in and, and be comfortable. And, and you know, there's ten players ahead of him on the field that have to do their job before before he's needed. So hopefully, if we do that, um, you know, we can take care of business. Um, it, it'll be fine having a, a new keeper come in.